to my swearing in, and the Congressional Black Caucus had an event of swearing in that morning, and he spoke, and he said, after that, I have a son who is an assistant principal in Broward County, served on the school board with me as a student advisor, but that's as far as he went in politics. And he said, Money? That chairman of the Black Caucus has motivated me today that I'm going to get into politics. I said, Money, what did he say? <laughs> to motivate you to want to get into politics, he said, Everything. <laughs> everything he said. And he began to retell the stories that you told, the parables that you told. And I, if he becomes something in politics, we're going to. Uh, make you the cause of that. Because I appreciate that so much. He's a wonderful leader. Alcee, I have known for all of my adult life. We all, we both went to Fisk University. He was a friend of my brother's who went to Fisk University just along with him. And whenever I needed him to come to Miami to speak for the 5,000 role model of excellence project, a mentoring program for young boys that we mentor in elementary school, middle school, high school, and then we send them to college. Alcee would stop what he was doing and say, Rodrigo, I'll be there. I don't even feel like coming, but because you called, I'm coming. So he's always been there, and I appreciate him for that. I'm here for you today. I want you to know how much I love you, how much I appreciate you, and how much this community is so fortunate to have you as our premier leader in Congress. Thank you so much. It is, uh, it's, it's usually Debbie and Frederica and I say this a lot in this area. It's always hard, always it's impossible to follow Alcy. Um, I'm now going to add Debbie and Frederica to that list as well. I'm going to be really brief. Uh, I was elected to Congress just about a year ago. And I got up there and a lot of people gave me a lot of advice. Um, Debbie's been a dear friend for years and a leader in the community and a leader in the party. And she's been a great mentor to me. Freddie and I worked together fighting the good fight for public education in Tallahassee. Um, and and she, she's come up to Washington and she's a great ally. Uh, and if all of you could hear, as I think you will, or if you did already, I apologize, I'm a little late, uh, Representative Cleaver speak and, uh, and preach. I think all of us will be better off as a result of that. But let me, let me tell you what Alcy said to me when I got to Washington. He, um, and Freddie knows this because she and I got there just about the same time. There are a million issues that come flying at you. And they come from every direction. And you get phone calls in your office, and you get emails, and you get letters, and, and everybody, everybody has the, the most brilliant insight to offer you and how you should cast your vote and what you should do, and they know it. And it's exhausting, and everyone just everyone wants to, to share with you how to And so I, I pulled Alice aside one day, and I explained that I was getting, I was hearing from all these people, and and, uh, and on so many issues, yeah, there are a lot of people who feel so passionately, and I know in my heart what's what's right. It's just it's hard sometimes when everyone is reaching out. And Alison gave me the, the best advice that I've received so far. He said, he said, it's okay when you cast your vote or when you stand on the floor of the U.S. House to speak. It's okay if you're out there on your own. If you know that being out there on your own is the right thing to do. Alcee Hastings has embodied that principle for his entire career in public life.
These two young ladies are the backbone of our offices. Kenny runs the Broward Palm Beach office. Barbara runs our Washington office. And we have a special presentation we're going to make today. Person so much um, deserving of this recognition that we're giving her today. 